Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh And good day to you again my viewers So As you can see um, I'm actually doing my first indoor video Today because Of the rainy season That we're having So I'm just going to use this opportunity As I had decided You know to really Give some comprehensive look into what are nutrients and the type of nutrients that we use in plants so we specifically going to look on micro and macronutrients and I'm going to do this in a series of videos but firstly um, I'm going to deal with macronutrients firstly and what are macronutrients and the types of macronutrients you know so I'm going to give a comprehensive look into what are the nutrients and how they work and I'm just asking you to you know continue to follow our videos to like and subscribe you know and to follow us on this journey right so when we think about macronutrients what comes to mind first of all macronutrients is what is in the simplest form you know the most important nutrients that the plant needs and we consider this to be what we refer to as the primary nutrients so we're going to look at the primary macronutrients so we have three primary macronutrients as well as we have three secondary macronutrients so firstly we're going to look at the first macronutrients our first macronutrient and that is nitrogen right then we're going to look at phosphorus or phosphate and after which we are going to look at potassium or what is also known as potash and how they work you know what they do in the plants and how they operate in the plants you know and the benefits that are derived from them when you actually use them in the plants you know and this is also very important you know to really have a moderate approach in how we apply these um, nutrients because we want to see soil restoration as a very important thing you know and sometimes the overuse of nutrients can you know cause the soil to break down you know so we you know trying to use mechanisms that will also restore the health of our soil which is very important in in agriculture and farming and a whole you know macronutrients I had, as I said earlier you know are nutrients that the plants need huge amounts of and when I say huge I mean you know it need most of these um, nutrients you know so it would need mostly nitrogen you know which we have the element nitrate that derives from nitrogen right which is a aspect of nitrogen which is nitrate and then we have phosphorus phosphate potassium which we know is also potash nitrogen you know as we look on nitrogen and the benefits that it plays in agriculture and farming so what we think about nitrogen you know and I want you to really you know follow me closely 
you know because this these are very this is very important very important information that I'm going to touch on here we use the most common form of nitrogen which is nitrate you know it is extremely important you know in the health of the plants you know it really helps to create strong leaves and foliage and you know foliage is what is commonly referred to as the blossoming of the plant so most people will refer to it as a blossoming stage you know and most people refer to it as a foliar stage you know so either name you use it is still correct but this is really important you know because you really use this especially in the early stage of the plant you know so within your first two week two weeks of the plant you know you apply your nitrate you know which helps with leaf and foliar development you know so it is very important that you know we pay particular attention to these because if you really want maximum yield from your crop production then the application the right application of nutrients is very very important right so nitrate and uh, nitrogen you know is as we say extremely important because strong leaves good foliage you know is, is important and it also helps with the the, the process of um, chlorophyll you know and we, we all know that chlorophyll uh, you know in plants are very important because it deal, deals with the, the pigmentation process you know how the plant absorbs sunlight and so forth and it provides a source of energy you know which is very important to the plant so you know when we look at things like um, the therm term that it is commonly known as photosynthesis you know and also um, chlorophyll you know and the extraction of sunlight into the plant is very very important you know because this helps with the growth of the plant and of course it is overall development you know so nitrogen in this early stage is very very important you know because it helps um, with the, the as you said the, the development of tissues within the plants you know it helps to form your tissues and enzymes in the plant you know so nitrogen you know it can be applied through the method of spraying as well as it can apply through your irrigation process as well you know so moderation into nitrogen you know it's very important so you use nitrogen right through the stage of a plant you know but you, you use most of your nitrogen in the early stage of your plant and so as the time goes on then you carry down you, you basically lower your the, the amount of nitrogen that you apply to the plant because you want to maintain that level of greenness within the plant you know and this is what the, the nitrate does you know it, it helps with the upkeep you know and the solidity of the plant you know so nitrogen very very important you know it's the, really the first uh, macronutrient that we apply to the plants in its earliest stage and again guys we are going to do all of these in separate videos you know so I you really follow me along and you really don't get lost you know in, in um, any of these videos so again thank you and stay tuned you know for the other um, segments that will come you know regarding um, the other the, the other primary macronutrients you know phosphorus and potassium which I would go as well um, go into the secondary ones such as uh, calcium you know magnesium and sulfur 
but we're gonna do them separate videos do them stage by stage so that you can really learn a step by in a step by step process and you really don't get too much information at once you know so as I said continue to follow subscribe and watch the videos you know until then we say masalama and goodbye goodbye to you thank you